Good morning, muchachos. Good morning. Good morning. Can they see you? There you are. <laughs> um, so, Alondra requested... What did you request, baby? Donuts. She did. And I think you guys know, unless you're new, I am a donut fiend. So, we were just sitting in the office. It's 921, by the way. Um, and I was doing a little bit of editing on my video for tomorrow. And she was just, like, hanging out with me in the office. And she was like... Um, can we go get donuts? But I turned around and I was like, uh, yeah. Like, hello, you know, when it comes to donuts, you do not have to beg mommy. So we are off to go get donuts. I'm hoping the place where we like to get donuts still has them and they're open. I feel like it's Sunday, so I feel like there should still be donuts. So anyways, come on, garage. Oh, All right, it's we closed. Just go to Duncan. I don't, we, I don't even know where there is a Duncan. I don't know, there is another local donut shop that we could try too. But yeah. let's go to the one that we love. But anyways, we're gonna start our day off right and get us some donuts, y'all. Yeah. Okay, good news, they're open. Oh, I think you have to pull it, baby. Oh. Pull, <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. Any donut that you want? I already know what it is. You I want need. glaze, don't you? Yeah. What do you want? I want a chocolate covered the chocolate glow chocolate frosted? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't see any, but I'm sure we can ask them. All right, here are our donuts. We got half a dozen. Alondra's already eating hers. She got the twist. And then we did get some chocolate frosted and two glazed. Edom's not like a big donut person, so I was like, you know what? Let me not get a dozen because I always get stuck eating all of the donuts. So anyways, though. I'm about to get my grub on, y'all. Cheers. guys might be wondering why we have a fish tank and a single fish in our bathroom 
Um, and that is because this is not a new fish, this is Daisy. And Daisy has been in here for three weeks today, actually marks three weeks. Um, Daisy had like a ripped fin and it was a lot more like prominent and ripped. And there was a couple other spots too that just kind of looked damaged. And Daisy is Alondra's favorite fish, my favorite fish. And so I was like, all right, well, what if Daisy has like some type of disease or like fin rot, like something going on. So I thought it was a good idea to quarantine her, which is funny that her name is Daisy. We call her her. And I say it's funny because we thought she was a girl and uh, no, Daisy isn't a boy. So, but I mean, we've had Daisy for so long now that we're not going to just change the name. So yeah, Daisy is in fact a boy. <laughs> But it's just like so hard for us to say he because we've been calling her her for so long. So anyways, though, we have had this fish tank for a little bit. I Ever since I did that last fish like aquarium haul, um, I guess I could have like showed this, but it was in the garage. So whatever. But this is from Top Fin, which is like the PetSmart brand. And it's only a 10 gallon tank. And um, we wanted to get this as like a hospital take and quarantine take. So that way whenever we had a sick fish like Daisy, we weren't sure what was going on. We could take her, him, out from the other fish and observe, give medicine, just like see what we need to do. Um, so anyways, yeah, and all I did in this, and this one for Daisy was just aquarium salt. I never gave any medicine. Um, and there's still a little bit of a tear, but it looks a lot better. So we are actually going to move Daisy back in to the regular 20 gallon tank, um, and then clean this one and then hopefully get some new fish soon. And then those new fish will come in here and that's where we will quarantine them and give them medication just to make sure they're not bringing any diseases and stuff like that. So I just wanted to like explain this cause I don't think I've talked about it at all or even like mentioned Daisy like being in here. So. Anyways, um, but yeah, so that is like the little situation with that. Well, hello. Someone's home from her play date. Did you have fun? Yes. yes. On a scale of one to 10, 10 yes. being the best time ever. 10. You had a 10? Oh, I'm so glad, baby. The only thing that sucks is that the dog accidentally like yeah, but that was an accident, right? And it's not a super bad scratch, so. Yeah, it was just like a little bit of blood. Yeah. You will survive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's not even joke like that. Alondra had a little play date with her friend. Her friend called her last night and asked her if she could come over today. And she's never been to this friend's house before. So I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Yes. You guys have had a play date at our house. That's true. And she's in her class and she's one of her best friends in her class. So I just thought it was perfect. So I know she is. So I said, yeah, perfect. Like the only thing we have going on today is she has softball pitchers tonight. So I just had her go over for an hour just to try it out, make sure everything was okay, you know? And so everything worked out good. She did good. Um, so I'm glad that she had a lot of fun. And then while she was there, I've been watching Love is Blind, you guys, season two. I've already watched season one, so I watched an episode of that. I'm only on like the third or fourth episode. Just kidding, I'm on episode five. It's on the TV. Um, and I've just been doing laundry, and I actually have, so far, all clothes put away. Well, I should say folded, because those are not put away, but those are all of Alondra's clothes. So I need to put that basket in her room. And then I got clothes in the dryer and in the wash. So I'm proud of myself, because so far, everything is put away or folded like that so anyways but now that she is home i was gonna wait till idam got home it's 2 30 but um idam is stuck at work and so he should have been home by now but he's still stuck at work but overtime i guess trying to think of the positive i need to give little miss wiggles a bath i wanted to give her one yesterday but she got her nails trimmed like later at night and we were grilling and i was like eh i'll just do it tomorrow so before it gets too much later and too much hotter, too much hotter, I feel like that's not a proper sentence, but whatever. It could still uh, get hotter. Yeah, it could still, it's supposed to get hotter. I was just like, you know what, let me just, let me get it over with. So I'm gonna go ahead, 
and give a Little Miss Wiggles a much needed bath. And I also want to wash her bed, which I showed you guys when I bought this, and I absolutely love it. It took a minute for Wiggles to get used to it, to be honest. Um, I would say for like the first week or so, she was kind of like, what is this? Where's my fuzzy bed? But I love that I don't have to put this in a washer or dryer. I can just like wipe it down and then spray it off with a hose, and it's, it's good to go. So I love this. I did get it off Amazon. They have other sizes and colors, so I will link it for you guys if uh, you want to check it out. Who's a nice, pretty girl? Hi, are you nice and clean? Do you feel so fresh? Yes? Okay, good girl. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Now you won't stink no more and drive my nose crazy. Oh my goodness. You look so pretty. Are you excited? Yeah? Let me see that hair. Ooh, dang. Who's your hairstylist? They did your hair so good. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Home from pictures and... Somebody got some ice cream. She was craving it. <laughs> Lucky girl. I wish so badly that we had an Andy's close to us. Um, but Is that a craving? What? Cold Stone. Cold Stone? I just, oh, I feel like Andy's just, it doesn't mess up my throat so bad. But is Brahms? I heard Brahms is really, but is that? Uh, um, I, I miss Cold Stone. Cold stone, like mixing them. I, I don't know, I don't care about like ice cream cones. I'm like an ice cream cone person. I like the like brownie sundae type stuff. But yeah, Dairy Queen, when I was little, we had a Dairy Queen where I, when I was little, growing up where we lived, there was a Dairy Queen literally right around the corner. We would go to Dairy Queen probably like two, three nights a week, I kid you not. And they had, I think it's called like a brownie fudge earthquake. Something like that, but oh my God, I was obsessed with it. I always got it, and they don't have it anymore, so I'm very salty, but I mean, I've known they haven't had it for years, because when we were living in Cali, remember? I really wanted Dairy Queen, and we went. I remember. I was pregnant, too. I remember. No, I was pregnant with um, when baby we went brother. To, when we went um, to that Dairy Queen in Florida, did they have it? Because that's one that I went to growing you, up. You, David, yeah. your brother, yeah. and David, and... And you went. Yeah, and all of you ordered that, I got this. Yeah, like that was, I mean, that was the shit. Like, I don't know why Dairy Queen, I'm definitely salty, but when I was pregnant, when we were living in California, um, I was craving, I was craving it so bad. And there was like, I swear there's not a lot of Dairy Queens in Cali, or at least not a lot that I saw. And we happened to be leaving Costco and like I saw one on the corner of my eye and it was weird because like Yeah, you remember where it's at. Yeah, it's not even like it was not even in a standalone it was like connected to a bunch of stores, which I thought was like really awesome. odd. Yeah, but like it's not a standalone, like a drive through standalone. So I thought that was so odd. And I was like, Oh my god, I did and like all I could think about was like the, the brownie fudge earthquake. So you know I'm how to like turn around, he went inside, he came back, and he was like, they don't have it. And I was like, no, 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 they, they have to have it. And he's like, no, they don't have it. And I was so mad. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been, it's been a while since they haven't had it, and I just, I... You miss it, you miss it. I do miss it. Dairy Queen done messed up taking it off the menu. Um, but Andy's has it, and oh my God, it's so good. But I don't know, is it Brahms that has the same kind of ice cream as Andy's that they, everybody says is really good? Oh no, I think it's Freddy's. Because Andy's is a custard. It's not an ice cream. It's a custard. I think it's called Freddy's, no? I don't know. Comment down below let me know. But anyways, I ended up not getting anything. Because the last time we went to the Dairy Queen that's like by our house, we went with my dad. And the ice cream was just not... I don't know. It just it tasted funky and it really, really messed up my throat. And so I'm like, ah. Eh, if it's not going to be for a brownie fudge earthquake, I ain't going to deal with it. So anyways, though. But yeah, the pictures literally took us like five minutes and we were literally in the drive-thru for 20. But I just feel like everybody's out because it's finally, you know, 80 degrees in Texas and we finally had a beautiful weekend. So, but tomorrow is supposed to be, I think 79, but cloudy. So, but anyways. Tomorrow though. by six weeks testing. Yes, tomorrow starts your six weeks testing, that's right. But anyways though, 
just checking in. I feel like I've been like checking in kind of good here and there, but I can't even believe it's already 721. So as soon as the laundry's done, I need to get her in the shower and then just get everything ready for school tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And I think I'm gonna watch a little bit more Love is Blind while these oh, two God. enjoy God. their ice cream. I won't watch it in bed, that's so I'm gonna watch it out here, okay? Just let me enjoy my trash TV. Just let me live. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Are you ready to go back home with your friends? Are you ready, girl? Okay. Here you go, Daisy. Come on. Go. There you go. Yay. So there's Daisy. Looks like everyone is greeting him. <laughs> Gonna say the right pronoun. The top fin is clamped, um, and that's because I usually get a little bit stressed with that. But I did add some like stress coats, so hopefully the fins will open up. But you know, whenever they move and get moved around, they get a little bit stressed out. So, anyways, I'm just gonna observe Daisy and just make sure everything is. Honky dory. And I think everything should be fine. I mean, this is the tank that Daisy has always been in since um, they've been with us. But right now, definitely the fins are clamped because it's kind of stressed. All of the like little fishies are checking Daisy out. Um, but anyways, though, I think, I think it'll be okay. Um, and definitely, Daisy's been quarantined for three weeks, as I said earlier, so. Anyways though, but I'm excited to get Daisy back in there. And then now that that's done, you know, I'm and I were saying maybe this week we'll go and get some new fishies. So anyways though, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye muchachos. Mm -hmm.